Setting up a proper onboarding process for your virtual assistant is the single most important thing that you can do to be successful with that virtual assistant. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. And if you're new around here, my name is Jen Lehner. I'm a digital marketing and system strategist, and I have helped hundreds of coaches, authors, small business people, solopreneurs, course creators to exponentially grow their business by outsourcing the smart way and incorporating smart systems into their business. So let's get going. Okay, so the first thing that I like to do when I hire a new virtual assistant is send them over to Trello. Now, you if you don't use Trello, maybe use Asana. It's fine if you just wanna use a Google Doc, but basically you wanna send them somewhere where everything is laid out and you could sort of take them on a path. Like, welcome, start here, then this, then this. So in our case, we have a Trello board and let's take a look at it now. So here's a really simple but very effective onboarding template. We're using this in Trello and you could do this in any sort of collaborative software, even on a Google Doc, or you could do it in Asana. The idea is that you wanna take them somewhere where you can house lots of information and where you can also communicate. So the first thing that you'll see over here on the left is welcome. And when we click into that, you'll see an orientation video, which we're gonna talk about in a minute, and then a tour of our Google Drive, and then we're asking the person to sign the contract right there. Then they can go down here where it says first steps. As you can see here, we've asked them to follow all of our social channels, and then also to join LastPass, which is our password protection software. And then you'll see here, there's information about weekly meetings. We talk about the daily report card, which you can click here to learn what that's all about. And then we've got a column here for resources, and then a column for daily tasks, weekly tasks, monthly tasks. We're not going to get into this part on this video, but there are, are other videos about this. Think about the worst job you ever had. Maybe it was all the way back when you scooped ice cream or weighted tables. But usually it was the worst job because whoever was in charge of onboarding you did a lousy job. Maybe they didn't onboard you at all. Maybe they threw a employee manual at you and said, figure it out. And then you go out there and you can't do your best because you don't know. Like, how do I open the cash register? Where are the keys? What's the code to the snow cone machine? You know what I mean? Like people have to be set up for success to be successful. And the good news is that's so easy for you to do. You want to welcome your new VA with open arms because if you follow the Front Row CEO framework and sort of our methodology for working with a virtual assistant, then you know that this is not about a wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, fly by night situation where you have a VA come in for two months and then you get another VA. No, this is not the way we do business. What we do around here is we're looking for virtual assistants who are gonna be with us for years, who we're gonna build relationships with, who are going to have a sense of ownership in our businesses and are gonna be on board from the get-go. So they're gonna be on board because we are going to onboard them properly and beautifully and make them feel so welcome. So here's the first step in that process. All right, so let's dig in here and take a look at the welcome video and the orientation video. So this is sort of a combination welcome and orientation video. If you have a good brand video, it would be great to plop that down there as well. We just completed a new brand video, so I'll be adding that next time we hire someone. But let's just play this so you could get a feel for it. Welcome. So who is this company that you just signed on with? Well, our mission at Jen Laner Media is to help entrepreneurs grow their audiences and their businesses using digital marketing, outsourcing, and smart microsystems. We help them by providing premium online trainings in the form of blog posts, podcasts, live streams, Amazon Alexa flash briefings, online courses, live events, and videos. 
We have a free online community called The Front Row. Membership site called. All right, I'm going to pause and we're letting them know what our number one priority is here. It says our number one priority is for, to respond to our clients immediately. If we can't respond immediately, then as close to immediately as possible. We talk about our uh, inclusion and diversity values, and we talk about how we value clarity. And basically, so we're talking about our values here, what's important to us, how our audience and our clients and our customers expect what they expect from us and what I expect from us as a team. And so there's a lot of that, like what are our values? We value excellence and attention to detail. Mistakes happen, but we want to make sure that we don't have typos, broken links and other careless errors as much as possible. So I do a lot of that. Then we talk about our community and our clients. Who are they? What do they look like? What's the demographic? Moving on into branding guidelines. So we've included that in there as well. Our our brand is playful, but polished. And there's quite a bit of detail there. We show all of our different logos and our color palette. And basically, this is the video that's going to let them know like what your company is about. And then in this video, the tour of Google Drive, we're just giving them, that could be a tour of all of like your the back end of your website, your Google Drive, um, your social media, but basically a tour of all the assets in your company. And also, and I know this is what we did with our last hire, is that we added to the welcome video, we got the whole team together on Zoom to welcome this person specifically by name. So we all got together and said, hey, Shalane, you know, welcome to the team. We're so excited to have you. So that was just super short and sweet. Okay, as I come back to my notes, I see there's some things we still did not cover. Why did I just take my glasses off? So one of the things we do right from the get-go is we set up a new virtual assistant with a company email address. So it might be sally at jenlaner.com. And this is so important because now your VA can use that email address in their work. But again, if your VA ever moves on, all you have to do is shut that email address off. And also you're able to stay connected with all the communications and so forth. Some of the other things to talk about in your orientation video are your policies. What are your policies with vacation leave? How should people communicate with you if they are sick? What are the job specific goals for that, that role? Um, and their key responsibilities. What's the structure of the company? Like who does what inside your business? Even if you're just a very small business with two or three people, really good idea to show that. I like to show that graphically, sort of so they could see like the hierarchy, if you will. Don't forget to introduce your new virtual assistant to your team right away. So even if the first introduction is just via email and then you say, oh, can't wait for you to meet everybody face to face on our team meeting on Monday, but do it right away so they can be excited and everybody knows that your new VA is coming in. And then you want to be clear and let them know how they get paid, when they get paid, how much they're going to get paid, and then what your expectations are for working hours, overtime, weekends. Do you expect them to work the weekends? You know, a lot of times people will put in their ads that they're looking for someone for 40 hours a week or 20 hours a week, but does that include the weekends? Does it include holidays? Do you need your virtual assistant to work during the hours that you're working? Actually, that's something, and we talk about that in some other YouTube videos and also in my program, but that's really something that needs to be sorted before you hire someone, right? Because if it's important for you to that they work during your working hours, especially if you're hiring someone from the Philippines, for example, you know, they're several hours ahead, half a day ahead. And so that you need to work that out in the interview process. And I think that just about covers it on onboarding. I hope you found this helpful. And if you want to learn more, if you want the templates for all this, the templates for the contracts, the templates for all of it, I have a very step-by-step -step program called Front Row CEO. It's not open yet. It's going to open in March. And if you're ready and chomping at the bit to get started before then, we do have a self-study option and we're going to have a really great three-day challenge coming up in February. So we'll put a link down below so you could join that if you're interested. I'm going to teach a whole bunch. And if you have any suggestions, comments, or questions, put them down below. I would love to hear from you and I'll see you next time.